In today's video, we are going to do an example problem for magnetic fields from current carrying wires. And in this case, we're going to have more than one wire with a current through it. So we're going to have more than one magnetic field. So we're going to be talking about superposition. So we're going to have to add up at any given point both of those magnetic fields to determine what is the magnetic field at a particular point. Now, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Step by Step Science. Get all of our excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. When I look at my YouTube analytics, I see that so many people who watch our videos have not subscribed. Please subscribe, click the notifications bell, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and don't forget to share this video. And in addition to that, we have made a bunch of other teaching learning materials which you can find at our Teachers Pay Teachers website. We're looking for examples, practice problem with all the solutions, notes, puzzles, games, simulations with the activities you can do with the PTT interactive simulation. It's all there. The link is in the description below. And I've made some other videos for magnetic fields and current carrying wires. You can link to those in the upper right-hand corner. But for this example, we are going to say that we have one wire that has a current flowing through it. And then we have another wire that has a current flowing through it. And then we are going to say that those two wires are separated by 15 centimeters. And they both have a current of 5 amperes flowing through them. And we want to know what is the magnetic field strength and the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field at a point that is right in the middle between those two wires. Now, we're going to do this for two different cases, of course. One where the current is flowing in the same direction through each of the wires, and one where the current is flowing in opposite directions. And, of course, we'll do current flowing in the same direction first. So, and we'll just say that the current is flowing up in both cases, so therefore it's flowing in that direction for both wires, current 5 amperes. Now, we are going to first calculate the magnitude of the current from each of those wires, and then we'll figure out the direction, of, excuse me, not the current, but we're going to calculate the magnitude of the magnetic field from each of those wires, and then we'll figure out the direction of the magnetic field, and then we'll kind of add them up to figure out what it is right there. So this is the equation that we use to calculate the magnetic field strength from a current carrying wire. B is, of course, the magnetic field strength. Mu zero is the permeability of free space. I is the current. 2 pi r is the distance. R is kind of like the radius. It's the distance from the wire to the point. Okay? So we're just going to plug the values in, and we're going to do this first for wire number one. So we have the magnetic field from wire number one. Mu zero, the constant is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meter per ampere. The current we said is 5 amperes. And now this is the one thing you got to be a little careful about. R is not 15 centimeters because this point is not 15 centimeters from this wire. It's right in the middle. So it's 7.5 centimeters, which is 2 pi times, not times, but 2 pi, yes, times 0 0.075 meters. You got to convert this to meters so that your units will cancel and you have Teslas as your answer. So when we do that, we put all that in our calculator, we get that the magnetic field from wire number one is, or the magnitude of the magnetic field from wire number one is 1.33 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas. Teslas being the units for the magnetic field. Now, what about the magnetic field strength right here from wire number two? Well, that wire is equidistant, has the same current and all that kind of stuff. So therefore, the magnitude of the magnetic field from wire number two is the same. It's equal to. So the magnetic field from wire number two is equal to magnetic field, the magnetic field strength for wire number one because it has the same current and the same distance. And it's also 1.33 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas. Now, we want to know what's the magnetic field strength right there. Now, you might think that, okay, we just multiply this times 2, and we would get the answer. Well, it's not quite that easy. It's not much more complicated, but it's not quite that easy because magnetic field is a vector quantity, and it has a magnitude and a direction. So... We know the magnitude of each of those magnetic fields, 1.33 times 10 to the minus 5 tesla. But now we've got to figure out the direction before we add them all up. So we have one wire, and the, this dot means that uh, the, wires, the current is flowing out of the magnetic field. This is a side view. Now we're going to look at a top view. So this is wire number one. This is wire number two, and we want to know the magnetic field strength right between them. We know the magnitude. Now we've got to figure out the direction of the, mag of the uh, magnetic field from each of those wires. If you use your right-hand rule where you wrap, your, where you point your thumb in the direction of the current, 
So it would be coming out of the page. Wrap your fingers around in the, the wire, and that'll show you the direction of the magnetic field. That means the magnetic field from wire number one is flowing in that direction. That would be a counterclockwise direction in this direction. And that means the direction of the magnetic field right here is up like that. Now that is actually, if you think of this as the uh, side view, this is the top view, this is actually into the page. Just to be a little specific, it's not really up, it's into the page. And wire number two has the current flowing in the same direction out of the page. So you might think it's pointing in the same direction, but it's also counterclockwise. If you point your thumb in the direction of the current, wrap your fingers around the wire, it's also counterclockwise. And that means that the magnetic field from wire number two right here is pointing in the opposite direction, in that direction. And that would be, we would consider, out of the page. Okay, now you should see where this is leading, because we have one that's pointing in one direction and one that's pointing in the other direction. They have the same magnitude, opposite directions. We might call into the page as the negative direction and out of the page as the positive direction. And that means if we add those two magnetic fields up in that direction, that one of them is going to be negative. That's, uh, that's the one from wire number one. The other one is going to be positive. So minus 1.33 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas plus a positive 1.33 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas is actually going to be zero. So we know the magnetic field strength and the direction from each of those two wires, but when we add them up, they are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, and that means that the magnetic field strength at that point is zero Teslas. They basically cancel each other out. That is when they're flowing, when the current is flowing in the same direction. Now let's see what happens when it's flowing in the opposite direction. Now, all I'm doing is showing that in this case, the wire in wire number one, the current's flowing the same direction up. In wire number two, it's down. We could do it the other way around, but I just did it that way. Still five amperes, still the same distance, and we want to know what's the magnetic field strength right here. So if you think about it, you should maybe be able to come up with what the answer might be before we do the problem, but let's just figure it out. Remember, the magnitude of the field strength isn't changing. We're not changing the current. We're not changing the distance. We're not changing the location of point B or the magnetic field that we want to know right there. So now we're going to do the same thing, add them up. But in this case, the wire, uh, the current from wire number one is still flowing out of the page. But from wire number two, it's flowing into the page. And that uh, X means that that's, uh, that's kind of the common designation out of and into the page. So this current is flowing into the page. Remember, this is a side view. This is a top view. Once again, we want to know what's the magnetic field strength right in the middle there. For wire number one, it's the same as we had before. It's flowing in the counterclockwise direction of the magnetic field. And that means at point B, it's still pointing up. Now, for this wire, point B, for this point, it's still pointing up. And we would call that into the page again. For this wire, now this one is flowing, now in the current is flowing in the opposite direction. So now we're going to point our thumb kind of into the page along the wire and wrap our fingers now in the clockwise direction. So the magnetic field from wire number two is actually flowing in the clockwise direction. That means right here at, point, at the point, it's flowing in the same direction. It's pointing, the magnetic field is pointing in the same direction as the magnetic field from wire number one. So that's, they're pointing in the same direction. Both of those are negative. And in order to figure out the magnetic field strength right there, we're just going to add them up again, B1 plus B2. And when we do that, we have negative 1.33 times 10 to minus 5 Teslas plus, now this one is also in the negative direction, 1.33 times 10 to minus 5 Teslas. We add those up, we get that the total magnetic field is minus 2.66 times 10 to the minus 5. Now, I want to point out that these minus signs don't mean that the magnetic field is less than zero. Those, magnetic, those minus signs simply mean that it's flowing in the minus direction, which is opposite of the positive direction. So it's not less than zero. The minus sign tells you the direction. The number tells you the magnitude. So the magnitude, of the, the, the magnetic field at this point has a direction into the page the magnitude is 2.66 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas. Okay, so there you go. I think if you kind of draw a picture and you draw a picture and you think about how it works out, it's not too complicated. You only have to really calculate the magnetic field strength once. 1.33 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to do all of the following five things. 
Subscribe to our channel. Get all of our excellent basic chemistry and math videos. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Let's see. You should click the notification bell. You don't miss anything. And then, of course, share this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you for part two in the next video.